Welcome viewers. In this tutorial, we want to show you how to create an intracompany STO in SAP. Let's have a look on all the points that we need to create intracompany STO in SAP. Before we get into the details on how to create intracompany STO in SAP, let's understand the of concept of intracompany STO. Intracompany Stock Transport Orders, STO, in SAP refer to the process of transferring goods between different plants or storage locations within the same company code. This functionality is commonly used when a company has multiple locations or plants that need to exchange materials. To perform intracompany STO, we need to have the follow. 1. It is necessary to create a receiving plant and a supply plant for the same company code. 2. Customer and supplying sales area should be created. 3. Material needs to be extended to both plants. Let's look into the flow steps of intercompany process in SAP. Flow steps for intercompany stock transfer order are 1. Create stock transfer order using T code ME21N with document type UB2. Create outbound delivery document with reference to purchase order. 3. Perform picking and perform goods issue. 4. Display stock in transit, only in case of two-step process. 5. Perform goods receipt using T code MIGO, only in case of two-step process. 6. Upon completion of goods receipt stock in transit will be disappeared. In intracompany, the movement types used are 1. 1 step, 647. 2. 2 step, 641. Let's learn about each flow step in brief in the further slides. To create intercompany stock transfer order, go to transaction code ME21N and choose document type UB. Fill in the organizational data and supplying plant information, then click enter. You will now be able to enter the materials, the quantity, and the plant for which you will receive the items. For intercompany purchase order, the shipping tab must be active and the necessary fields filled in. If you are unable to access the tab, there may be a problem with the maintenance of the shipping data, which would prevent you from dropping the outbound delivery. To show the stock movement out of the supplier plant, you need to generate the outbound delivery with reference to the purchase order. Use transaction code VL10B. Input the purchasing document number or other information, then click. Execute. Select the line which you want to process and click on background button. The delivery is created in the background. If you cannot see the delivery number, change the layout or slash and select the line and hit in more slash show slash hide delivery button. Please note, to create an outbound delivery, the supplying plant must have enough unrestricted stock. You can check this in transaction MVE. In the purchase order, show the stock overview or look at the ATP horizon. Now you can proceed with the next step and perform picking and post goods issue. Go to transaction code VL02N, provide delivery document number and click enter. Then insert the picking quantity. Now to check the status of your delivery, go to status overview tab and if the picking is completed, you can click on post goods issue button. Once the post goods issue is completed, you can check the stock in transit for the receiving plant. Go to the T code MB5T, enter the material number receiving plant, and if required fill in the other data. The stock in transit will be displayed, as shown here. To do goods received, go to transaction code MIGO. From the drop-down list, choose a 01 goods receipt and R01 purchase order and enter the stock transfer order number. All data will be populated automatically. Select item OAK and click on check button. If you don't face any error, click on post button. Upon completion of goods receipt stock in transit will be disappeared for stock transfer order. Thank you for watching and we hope this video helped you understand and you were able to create intracompany STO in SAP.